Good evening from Xfinity Center, where Maryland takes it over the Cornhusker 74-72. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. We have a special guest. Sir, you got to meet Bruno Fernando up close and personal on the bench there. What happened? Well, I was sitting on the court side and uh, I was looking up and all of a sudden I saw this big man coming over top of me and I believe he hit me in the nose with his uh, elbow. Oh. And he rolled over and the guy behind me pushed him back on the court. Uh, did you see the ball coming? No. Oh, just just for the record, what's your name? Dickie Harrington. Nick. Did you did, did you feel like you were knocked out or something? I, I, at first, I thought I was going down, but I, I was able to. Well, you did. You know, you'll never forget it. No. It'll be etched in forever on TerpTalk.com, <laughs> so you can we'll go home and watch it. And uh, it was a great win, wasn't it? It sure did was. Did you get to see the end? I sure did. All right. And, and he, he came over and, and said hi and signed a shirt for you. Yes, he did. All right. Well, that was nice. And Bruno's got to be one of our players of the game. We Him and Jalen, the, the one-two punch, they were unbelievable. All right, I know All you right, got to get home. You had a rough night there, but you contributed to a big win tonight. That's right. Go Terps. All righty. All righty. So that was interesting. As Mason comes in the postgame show, Bruce, what do you got tonight? Alpha male. Alpha male, Bruno Fernando. He, for some reason, tonight, he, like, put the team on his back. He was pushing and coaching everybody. He was unbelievable. Yes, yeah, Sticks made the winning basket. Yep. Sticks was all money. But tonight, they went down low when they had a score, and you saw the difference. Well, I think the game went through Bruno tonight. Mason, what did you see? I thought that it could have been based off of Nebraska's big men. Nebraska had a big men rotation. I would say it was similar to Maryland's because you saw guys like number 20 get in that really couldn't handle Bruno. Right. And when Bruno gets going, Bruce, you're right about it. He really pumps everyone up. We've been talking about it now the whole season. They need a leader. I think they found one in Bruno Fernando. This was such a big win, everybody. Such a big win because you know, first of all, it was rated a pick em game. And if you ever saw a pick em game, yeah. this was it. What was the over under? Over under was 142, so they. 146. But That's right. What an ending and what it was so opposite of the way Maryland's played down the wire. All right, it was completely different. They played with poise, they got the ball down low, they took a few outside shots, maybe they shouldn't have. But but when it came to crunch time, Jalen Smith stepped up. He held him some held himself back from the charge, you know. Which and, he did earlier in the game. And he did it before. He played great tonight, but Look. Bruno was stupendous. He was fantastic. Look, for once, when Turgeon says tonight that Nebraska was fantastic, they had some fantastic players. Yeah, they definitely had some, but Nebraska there was a difference on the floor that you could see. Yep. When Maryland went into the Ricky Lindo, who was ridiculously athletic, who you can actually see progressing as the season yeah, goes isn't on. isn't that great that Ayala yes. and Lindo, they're really getting better? And you see even a bender, and then you look at what Nebraska puts in, especially at the big man position, yep. you can see that Maryland's just a more talented team. And it really showed down the stretch when Maryland got those easy inside baskets or something that Nebraska just wasn't getting. This kid Palmer was unbelievable. Yeah. He was unbelievable, except down the wire. Look, they you know, didn't hit. What, he ended up with 23, but he was stuck on 23 for a long time. Right, it was well, 24. Stuff at the, was it his stuff it was, to put them in the lead? Uh, no, that was 12. Oh, it was Copeland. Was it? Copeland? Uh, okay. This team is good. Look, uh, he got the 24th point on that free throw. It made it 72 all, and then Sticks gets 26 the... 26 he wound up with. All right, 26. he had the stuff. He had okay. the stuff. But uh, great defense at the end. There was no foul. Really? Yeah. Really? We saw we the saw replay. It. We saw I, the replay. They didn't even complain. I don't think it was a foul. I think two, two guys go up to get the ball. It's sort of an NFL play. Uh, it was a great play. The Nebraska last play to make everybody think they're going to shoot the ball from the right wing, and they throw a lob. Now, did Maryland defend the inbounder on that? No. I still don't like it. A little bit. But the, the guy had to come backwards for the ball. Right. That's what you want. Right. Unlike the Michigan game last right. year. Right. You have to come back for the ball. And it took the time out of it. They yeah. really were rushing Because really what you don't want, like the Michigan game is, let's say that you're coming towards me and I right. catch the ball up here. Right. You don't want me to be able to throw it back to you and keep going. Right. So, Maryland did an okay look. 
It, it's like it used to be. When we used to come down to the end and Mello would hit the shot, we came down to the end, got a new kid to hit the shot at the end, the freshman, yep. and boy, was everybody fired up. It's, and one, we're, it's, it's one game. It's one I don't game. You got to keep. Game. They had to have this yes, game. Yes, yes. They, oh, they, have yes, this they game. did. But now you got to keep moving. You got to build off of this because the way they played down the stretch in this game yeah. is the way you have to play if you want to be successful in made, the long term. Made term. some free throws, win the game. We will be back here on the Viner Four Gates Post Game Show. And thanks to Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville as we enter 2019 for their sponsorship. And Terps are 1 0 in this year. We'll be back in a moment. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Victorious floor at Xfinity Center. I, I it's off the camera, but behind us, the Nebraska bench area looks like they still have a New Year's Eve over there. I haven't seen one this packed in a while. They have a lot of, uh, I guess, local fans, local kids. Look, Cowan ends up with 19. Fernando has 18. You know, you, you said Cowan, he didn't get off to a good start. He finishes 6 of 15, 3 of 7 from beyond the arc. Maryland had a little bit of trouble scoring there from about the three-minute mark in. Yeah. It slowed down a bit. On the Nebraska side, Watson, a guard, Palmer, who's just a basketball player. Palmer at the 26, Watson had 12. You said they had to absolutely do everything they could to stop him. Are and they you, did. I mean, they did. He was the guy who was killing you. He made some shots that were just off the charts. And credit to Nebraska, all right? But... Uh, tonight was Maryland's night. So there's one sequence that I want to get to. Go to it. Which was, going down the under four minutes, Maryland had three possessions in a row and had three turnovers. They did. One of them looked like an interception that you would throw in Madden where a guy threw the ball into double coverage zone. Y yep. A few of them, they, and then the other two, I think they just fumbled them away. Sort of. Now, in this game, it wasn't that huge, but I still, there are still improvements. Well... Down the wire, they went inside, and that's what I wanted to see. Down the very wire, that's why they won the game. You cannot win these games from the outside. You can't. Not this team. You don't have Here, a guy okay. who's dead on. They tried with Wiggins, and Wiggins couldn't get into the couldn't flow. Get, right. Look, for here's my take on this one. And with the Big Ten refs and some contact and a little bit of a, a looser call, everything wasn't a foul. Maryland finally stepped up to that level. Usually, it's go, to me, it looks like it goes the other way. Maryland's a little tentative, doesn't really attack enough. I like the fact that from this foul line here that Sticks tried to dunk the ball. I like the fact that Fernando went in maybe a little recklessly and tried to dunk the ball and missed it. I want Maryland to play at that level of aggressiveness. If you play that hard eventually, with this talent, that's yeah. going to work. Yeah, eventually it will. And it also will it will open up the outside. All right, it will open up for the easier yeah. three-point shots. Well, the, the three-point shots that Cowan did make, uh, to me, seem like when Nebraska went to the 1-3-1 zone, Maryland shot him back yeah. out of the zone. Yeah. You don't see that often. It was also... You know, the other night Turgeon talked about the team's just not playing in the flow of the game. Tonight they seem to have that. I think the higher scoring really pushes it Maryland's way. I just think 
Maryland was finally able to steer the game the way they wanted to, and it came out with a positive result. It does. So Maryland on the road at Rutgers on Saturday. Rutgers and Minnesota, these are two games you should win. Minnesota Tuesday, and then the Friday night special. Ew. Indiana Hoosiers come in. Right. I mean, I'm just not a fan of the Friday night. So. No, I'm not either, but that's what it is, you know. Uh, I'm not a fan of 630 either. I don't know. Who came up with this 630 thing? I don't know. We'll blame Mason. He's the young I mean, guy. There just you go. saying, just saying. If you're going to pick a team, Maryland's probably the worst one in this conference to do it with. For, for, to what? 6.30, the traffic around here. Rutgers the, is the same way. Rutgers, maybe Northwestern. And we yeah. got to take a trip to Northwestern and see the new building. I know yeah. you went up there for your... I love Northwestern. Yeah. All right, friends, folks, Turp fans, that is it. Maryland takes it 74-72, a bit of a much-needed redemption night win. Any finals? Yeah, win over a ranked team. Start building for the tournament. We haven't beaten a ranked team in a while. Two years. Couple Listen, years. I got to give the schedule real quick. Uh, Coons Ford presents a Sports Maven Saturday at 9 a.m. Sunday, we will have in the nest. Uh, season's extended. Your first playoff edition. It's been a while. No, we've had them before. I've been doing the show a long time. Oh, it doesn't seem that long. Yeah, it's been about probably six years. Huh. So, uh... But this will be exciting, a home game, right. Sunday at 1 o'clock, and, and uh, we invite all you Redskins fans to watch. Come on right, in. Right, Mason? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Good night from Xfinity Saturday.